So we're in Turkey, and today is Salih. But what the fuck is Salih? Mehmet, what is Salih? Tuesday. Salih is Tuesday? It's not the Tuesday. What's up my Lithu Army? It's your favorite Lithu show on YouTube, and today I'm teaching you kick to cross. Very powerful, and I use that many times in my fight. It's very hard to counter, very hard to block, and you can create a lot of damage and set up other techniques after that. So last week we did actually kick the hook or kick to slap, depends how you feel that day. But today we're gonna do a kick and we come back with a cross, a direct attack. When you, when you do a kick, either he's gonna grab it, he's just gonna check it, but you have, a, you have a, a room in the middle to land that cross. So that kick, same hand, same leg, that's very important. So when you, when you land that kick, you, know, you can boom, you can push him away and then you're ready for a kick. Boom, and you have you, that kick, kick back, right? I kick back, you transfer your weight. Transfer your weight from here, your weight is forward, then you kick back, and now the, your weight is going forward into that cross. So all the momentum is going to the end of your knuckle. And in Letway, fight with no gloves, you can create a lot of damage very rapidly with you know, your, your raking knuckles on his face bone to bone. So kick, and what I like about this attack is that it's a long attack. I can be far away, but I can land and attack very fast as well. So I'm occupying his brain with a, a kick, and I'm coming back with a punch higher. So high to low to high. That's one of the seven ways of attack in Jeet Kune Do, right? You, you, you modify, you program the brain. So here, you don't waste time. In, you know, and you look at my legs when I do it, Kick. Some people boom, leave the leg in the air. I find it not comfort, not comfortable for me because I'm on one leg. I like to keep myself grounded. So when I do this, right, kick. As soon as I land my foot on the ground, my my hand is landing on his face. So kick. Same time, and I feel like I'm grounded. So if ever I miss. I'm not unbalanced. That's a personal choice. There's many ways to do this one. Kick and look like this. Kick like this. You stay in balance or like I do it. Kick and I'm still grounded tippy toes but still there and ready to push off for this one, right? Because I feel like if I do this, I'm still, I cannot move forward. I cannot move lateral, I cannot move forward. I'm still, boom. But if I do my kick on the ground, I can push with this one, with a breaking headbutt. I can, I can come back and push off with this one, with an elbow, which I cannot do with the other one. I cannot do an elbow from here. So, so if your opponent wants to check the kick, right? Boom. Okay, my man doesn't want to check, no check, yeah? <laughs> so if he wants to check the, the, right? I'm still going forward. So if he wants to grab it, I'm also exposed. So either way, what he's doing, either he checks it or he grabs it. I can do many things, right? And if he just goes into a ball, well, you continue, you know, you, you penetrate. So let's say, let's say he doesn't do anything. Boom, I can come here, right? I can go inside. So it's a great way to close the distance as well. So keep training hard. Thank you all for the messages, the comments. I really appreciate it. We read them all. The Little Army is growing very fast. The rise of Little Worldwide is only the beginning. People will only understand what we're doing 20 years from now. See you guys next week. Thank you all.